welcome back to Art Books Reviewed. And we have another treat. We always have a treat, it seems. We never just don't have a treat. But we've got a treat. We've got another book review. Um, and this is another big book. And it's been hanging around for some time, waiting for me to unbox this. When I say some time, in some years. So here it is, with no further ado. It's heavy as well. I don't even know whether you can get this in. Look at this. This is, it comes in its own box. It is the Elf Quest, uh, the original Quest Gallery Edition. It's a um, hardcover book. It's, as you can see, massive because it comes in its own box. Um, it's a little label. It was published by Dark Horse Comics. Um, it's by Richard and Wendy Peeney. I think I'm getting their surname right. Um, and, well, it's still sealed as well. It's time to unbox this and have a good old look at it, I think. And, oh my life, would you take a look at that. Um, that is quite, quite beautiful. We'll measure it up in a bit because it is big. But yeah, it comes in its own box so it can get to you without getting completely damaged because it's such a luxury deluxe item. Let's lift it out of the box anyway. It's, it's in its own cellophane. Bye bye box. You just... Yeah, over the edge of the table. You're not welcome anymore box. And yeah, so let's get into this cellophane. Don't mind me, I'm just fetching some scissors. I mean, look at this thing. It's really nice. Seems a bit of a shame to open it, but I'm going to because I've been dying to have a little look at the artwork inside. Do you actually know a bit about ElfQuest? I've got some familiarity with it because when we were younger, my older brother was, and still is, keen on role-playing games. There was a ElfQuest role-playing game, which is first how I heard about them, these elves. And yeah, my brother used to make us play it. And uh, I did think even back then it was um, nice artwork. They have these wolves that they ride. Let's have a look inside. I'm, I'm practically poking myself in the eye with these scissors, which shouldn't be doing. Shouldn't be doing. So, I'm going to just carefully get into this thing. Oh, that cover is divine. It, it sort of, it looks like, almost sort of like cardboard, but it's super smooth. Quite an unpleasant cellophane noise. Okay, so the cellophane is off. That is also going off the edge of the table. Here we have it. Amazing. This is Elf Quest Gallery Edition inside. Wendy Peeney, Richard Peeney, Dark Horse. And before we actually get into it, let's have a little look on the back. So we've got a little image there. He knows what he must do. Story by Richard and Wendy Peeney. Art by... What does that say? Wendy Peeney, I guess. So, let's have a look inside. So, um, actually, before we look inside, let's measure this thing up. So size wise, nearly 40, we're talking nearly 44 centimetres thereabouts tall. Um, got a width of 31 and a half centimetres. It's got quite a few pages. It's just over two centimetres deep or thick. Here we go. Let's get inside it. Whoa. That is already very beautiful. I don't always keep all of my art books, but I think I need to keep this one. Having said that, books this size, it's hard to find a shelf for them. You know, bookcases aren't really made to house books of this size. So it says gallery edition there. Really nice presentation, really thick paper. Incredible. Quality. 
There's a nice image to kick off with. There's the Dark Horse books. They, they make good, they make really good books, Dark Horse, don't they? They don't really make rubbish books, I've noticed. All right, what does it say about this edition? This gallery edition reproduces full colour scans of Wendy Peeney's artwork for ElfQuest, the original Quest, original size. So this was the original size that she was working at. Because the dimensions of the original boards vary, the width of the book has been chosen to accommodate the widest pages without necessitating any reduction in size. Okay, we're with you. And it's, so yeah, it was published in October 2014. So we've got some contents now. Introduction, Fire and Flight, Raid at Sorrow's End, The Challenge, Wolf Song, Voice of the Sun, and then a Sketchbook. Oh wow, so oh, this is beautiful. Really like, I've already mentioned the page thickness and the, the feel and the quality, but also the, the words are nice. It's nicely, nice font, nice spacing, easy to read. Um, this must be hard to fill pages this big with text. You know, if you go for a really big font, it'll babyish. You put a small font in and it'd be just a bit too much text on each page. They've got it right. Um, there seems to be, yeah, a story outline here, handwritten on lined binder paper, 1977, all those years ago. Wow. <laughs> jumps out of the page at you. Wendy's beautiful artwork, Lita. There she is. Wow. So I'm gonna have to find a bookshelf that somehow is tall enough to accommodate this. I might have to take a shelf out. I've got a couple of books that are nearly this size. But a couple of books is not enough for a whole shelf, is it? Just have to buy more big books, I think. I love the style. You know, they're not really fussy, complicated drawings, but there's, I like the use of shading and nice clean lines. Simple, clean lines. Okay. We're on page 57, but I feel like we've got a long way to go still in this book. <laughs> I like the way they presented the, you know, the original um, artwork within the page. They've laid it out. They've got a nice margin. There was that comment there at the beginning about how some of them are different sizes. Oh, look at this wolf song. That's nice. Singing away with the wolves. Howling away. Bear claw. I can't remember. Was he? Was he a baddie? Hmm. He's got a slight look of a baddiness about him. Got facial hair, and his wolf doesn't look too friendly. It's like the kind of wolf that might, that might bite. Um, so yeah, wow. Uh, we're just, I'm just jumping through various pages here. I'm not um, gonna show you every page as always. That's nice. A beast. Beautiful. So yeah, these color, these color kind of pages are, are introducing all the characters. Um, that's a nice thing to include. Wow, I'm pretty overwhelmed by this. It's 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 lovely. I've not. I know that there are quite a few of these gallery or art editions that you can buy. 
Um, I've not actually seen one before. This is my first time. Um, oh, look. Bit of emotion. Bit of love. Yeah, I've not seen one before, so... Um, ah, the making of Elf Glass. This is getting really interesting now. Got some early sketches. The Cutter. He's the main character, isn't he? And various other kind of uh, early work. It's nice to see all this stuff, things being formulated. Well, there we go. We've had a little look through some of the pages there. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed looking through that. This is probably the most luxurious book I've actually reviewed on the channel so far. It really feels like something that, um, that you know, you can collect and keep and and really look after and enjoy looking at. Um, it's wonderful, you know. I, I can't really say much more about this. I am quite overwhelmed by the content in here. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you did. Um, if you didn't, um, well, there's other videos to watch, I suppose, isn't there? See you next time.